Hello everyone, this is Mirta from Croatia and this is my reflection on uh, this EVO course, Tools for Student Collaboration. So uh, the first question was how did you team up? So now that I've been thinking about uh, reflecting on these uh, past four weeks, it seems to have been a long journey. Uh, but I think I remember correctly that I started a Padlet group. I uh, had consultations with my colleague Tamara from Croatia and we decided it would be a good way to start from something that's quite familiar to us and then build on uh, with more complicated things. So if it was someone else who created the Padlet group, I sincerely apologize. Uh, after that, the members of other members of the group joined and the work atmosphere and collaboration, these, these were great things in our group. Uh, we organized uh, different kinds of discussions in teams on forums, but also Helen uh, was kind enough to organize three meetings on Zoom, one for presentation of our Google Slides and two more to uh, consult on what has to be done uh, in the following week after the, our Zoom sessions with Dr. Nelly. So the next uh, question is about facing challenges and which uh, these challenges were. So first of all, my greatest challenge was, uh, as also some uh, of other participants said, perfection. So I thought uh, that uh, actually I concentrated more on the task itself. So I thought, OK, now read the instructions carefully. So I'm not sure whether this is what Dr. Nelly meant or not, but actually it wasn't so important. And I felt uh, much better after uh, we uh, cleared it out with Dr. Nelly. So uh, the, the important thing was collaboration, not so much the task itself. So it didn't have to be perfect. It was actually to give us just an idea of how collaboration works. And it made it much easier. From technical side, I don't remember anything was really a problem. Maybe sharing sound in Google Slides. Uh, Google Docs were quite uh, quite easy. Uh, challenges that I expect my students to face and how I would deal with them. So, um, as Marie said in her reflection on uh, this uh, course, uh, I'm an English teacher, so my primary focus is on teaching uh, students English and the technology and collaborative tools are here just to help. So, keeping it simple also, as Marie said, is very important. And I think that using Google Slides and Google uh, Docs would not be difficult on them. Since my students don't have uh, IT as a subject, I guess I will have to take over some responsibilities of an IT teacher. So show them in detail how something works. Now, um, if there are some things that I had problems with, it would be very good because I'll be able to point it out to them and say, OK, if it happens to you, you will deal with it in a certain way. And I think that maybe one of the best ways to go about it is to make a video tutorial on uh, how to use a certain tool, just as Dr. Nelly did with us. So show them how it is used and then if they have problems, they can always ask me and I know it will mean that we would have to be uh, at their disposal quite a lot of time. Well, we already are, so it doesn't make much, much difference. What did you learn about yourself as you worked? So um, I learned actually not, not much new, not many things that I uh, didn't know already, but I'm impatient. All right. So I like to do things on time and I like to do them uh, well and thoroughly, so not in a sloppy way. And I make a list and I like to uh, cross things off uh, that list. And this was not possible in some of the cases because people from our group uh, live in different time zones. So it needed some time and uh, we needed more um, patience for that. Also, time management was something that frustrated me in this way. And also uh, lots of emails that were arriving. So I just wanted to check whether everything uh, was OK. But still impatience. Uh, and uh, one thing, I enjoyed working in this group. OK, so when you meet people who are willing to work, who are willing to devote uh, their time and do their tasks uh, on time and well, it's a, it's a very good thing. So I'm glad to have been in uh, such a group. How will you use Google Slides, Docs and Forms with students and listing activities? So I am already doing that. I've started implementing things that I've learned since we are online. A lot of these things can come in handy. So, for example, uh, two weeks ago, we were working on how to write an article for a magazine or a 
web page. So uh, after going through the rules and uh, analyzing some good examples, students were supposed to work in a group on a Google Doc and write this kind of um, article. They did it during an online lesson. And later, uh, these uh, documents were exchanged uh, among them. So it's good for collaborative work and also for peer assessment. So other groups could reflect on their writing and give them feedback. Also, I used Google Docs uh, last week in station learning. So each group was given a different task. So after 20 minutes, uh, the tasks were rotated, but each group had their Google Slides so all the members could write the answers uh, in it uh, together at the same time. Google uh, Slides, for uh, for example, uh, I've already used them for a dictionary in one project, but also this year I'm going to use them for a yearbook with my senior students. Uh, and also Google Forms. Uh, for presenting, for example, and inter interpreting graphs uh, for assessment, which is also part of uh, things that we assess in English language teaching and learning. So yesterday I also had a task. So um, these things just come uh, unexpectedly. So we were working on a, on a text and then I said, wow, why, why don't you make, it was about how Mexico City uh, actually introduced uh, traffic free Sunday and the task was do you think it would be a good idea to introduce it in your city so I asked my students to write a short questionnaires uh, for uh, I don't know with five questions to see what people of the city think about such an idea so I'll see how it goes uh, I explained it to them how to create Google Docs they have already done it in their computer class but still um, they have this class uh, one, uh, one, only one year, I think, during the secondary education uh, in my school. And uh, they said that they have already uh, done that, but I still uh, made a short uh, video tutorial to help them out with this. So uh, I wanted to say that this was a wonderful experience, cooperation and things we have learned, ideas we have shared. So uh, thank you, Dr. Nelly, and thank you all uh, EVO participants for giving constructive feedback and uh, for uh, being here when we need it help not only the members of my Padlet group, but uh, the members and participants uh, in this uh, Tools for Student collaboration course. Hope to see you in the future as well. Bye.